Let's see. We have uh, we have two minutes. Um, that child. <laughs> yeah, he's been waiting very patiently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if about say we did gain the capability to create genetically modified humans or just regular humans from scratch. So what would stop the military from creating r humans that had no parents and were perfectly expendable? Nobody, nobody would miss them if they died. So like, what, wh <laughs> how would we prevent that? <laughs> so, fair question. So, as, as Greg said, one of the things, one of my two fundamental conditions is that we, you know, there's the base, the equ equality of humans, right? Everybody has the same equal moral status. So if we created these people where we're just going to use them to be super soldiers, right? Use them merely as a means, right? To, for some other end that they didn't choose, that, you know, that they didn't choose, that would be something wrong. And so there's a question of can, I mean, are there going to be people who are going to do that? Possibly. But there's, there's a question of uh, ethics, which is, ought we do that? And the answer is, we shouldn't do that. And we should do whatever we can, our society, to fight against you know, countries or nations or people who are going to try to do that. Because that would be sort of going, but, you know, that would be crossing a certain ethical line that we shouldn't be doing. Um, you know, they're always going to be evil and, you know, like, uh, this goes into the sort of the, the villains, super villains. They're going to be people who are going to want to do that. But I think um, super villains have to respect our equality as moral status. Whether they do in fact or not, that's a separate question. But ethically, they ought. They ought. But yeah. George, yeah. George, you answer. Don't you feel, yeah. do you feel some responsibility? You're, you're going to yeah. unleash this technology on the world so that, and governments are bad. We know they're bad. They're going <laughs> to try to make children who, we can just say, like, what are you going to do to stop that? <laughs> well, yes, I do. I'm trying not to shirk responsibility. I'm, uh, you know, I think that, uh, that we should get in better control of our governments. That would be a nice step. Uh, you know, I see some responsibility there. There definitely, there's some effort uh, to, to, uh, to drop fewer uh, atom bombs than we used to in the past. Uh, we've been pretty good since the 40s. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, th I think we need to re remove the motivation for doing that, okay? So if, if, uh, if the United States is not threatened, it presumably won't do it, it'll be the most threatened, the most disadvantaged that might do this as a desperation tactic. Uh, you know, uh, and it would be nice to, uh, to address their problems so that they're not that uh, motivated to, to go that route.